Want to know how to turn this into this? On today's task, I'm going to show you exactly what we had to do to prepare and prep and lay this new road. If you remember from our zoning clearance video, we needed a few things on the property to be laid out before the city would let us build up here. One of those things was septic proof, which we did. You guys have seen that video. Um, one of the things we also had to do was verify water. One of the things we had to do is verify that we had the right to be building up here. Um, just little things that needed to be known about this area. Also, I had to have my EPA set up and my notice of intent set up so that we had our SWIP SWPPP set up as well. The last thing, which was the biggest endeavor to get over, is building a road and continuing it through to our driveway's beginning. So our property begins here, but I don't wanna have my driveway go right here. It slopes here and it slopes down into the house. Not in a good way that we like it. We actually want it to be more gradual. So we need to continue the road all the way out to where the driveway is going to begin. So we have to build a road. As difficult as that sounds, it actually wasn't too bad. I called and got a bid. I had a company come out and show me what I needed and where I needed it. I got with the county and I actually had to meet their road building requirements because we are continuing a, although private road, it does have to meet county standards for road buildup, I guess. Um, so that not just anybody's just tacking on a road wherever they want in the county. Because we want our driveway to actually begin at the top of the hill and go down into the house, we needed to build our road all the way to this point right here. You can kind of see their faint lines. They came out and painted and got it set up and prepped. So now what we are waiting on is actually the dozer to get up here. It's been raining for two days straight and I thought for sure they'd be canceling it, but they said they can do it. So we're gonna do it. This is so cool looking. I'm not gonna say this is my childhood dream, but seriously, this is like my childhood dream right here. This is our guy and he is our operator and gonna run this thing and make it look amazing. Since I was actually on site while we were doing this, I was able to make a last minute adjustment and bring the grade down even lower so that it leveled into our driveway a little bit better. That's why if you're building a house or doing any kind of a project, you need to be present for it because there are minor adjustments that are so easy to fix or change while you're in the process of it. If you would have had to come back out and all that, it would have been a big deal. But what's cool about this, when I was talking with the, the operator, now I've talked about things that you do yourself, things that you hire out. This is obviously one of the things you hire out. Something that's super cool and I was asking him is, okay, this guide that's checking for the height levels and all that, that's a laser level. I was like, does it just tell you where you're at and you've got to make the adjustments? And he said, oh no. This piece right there talks with that piece right there and it will automatically make adjustments. He will put into it how much it can adjust at one time, you know, how many percent he wants to keep coming down, but the blade will automatically level out and do what he's supposed to. That's incredible technology. I mean, it just makes these excavators and just graders, anybody who's working with this machinery, that much more capable to get a better end result. I think it's pretty cool. So now we are ready to get our last 20 inches of fill brought in. day long. It rained from the moment I got here at seven in the morning till the moment I left at five in the afternoon, but they were still able to get everything done that we wanted to. So we've got three different layers here. We have the raw soil that we cut through. There's a little bit of rock, kind of big rock in it. Um, there is some sand in it a little bit. 
but it's not a consistent soil, but it grades pretty nice. Then we bring in 14 inches of our borrow, which is kind of a river rock slash sand slash pebble slash a few different sizes that compact really, really well and they'll seat into each other. 14 inches of that. Next is this. This is old road that has been chipped up, chewed up, torn away, and then they repurpose it as a base layer. So we'll put six inches of this down. So if you're ever driving down the road and you see a big machine that's tilling up the road and they're chucking it into the back of a dump truck or something like that, that's what this base layer is. It's pretty cool that they recycle and reuse that stuff because one, it does pack down pretty dang hard. And two, we just don't need it to go to landfills. This is great use of it. And I'm glad that we use it all the time. So this is actually what our driveway will be all the way down to the house once we get going on it. Since the road is done and we have some time before this tractor's got to be back, um, I'm having him cut in some work. We're just getting the beginning of the approach of the driveway to be set up because we know it's going to cut in this way. We're just having him cut in just a little bit just to kind of see what it looks like. I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around all of the elevations that are going to change. It changes quite a bit from here down to the house and it's got to be even and smooth and we're actually limited to no more than a 10% grade and realistically 10% grade is pretty stinking steep, especially if I'm thinking, okay, I've got to get a fifth wheel in here or my trailer's in here or cement trucks in here, all that kind of stuff, or grandparents driving in here later on. I don't want them to feel intimidated driving into the driveway. So we've got to really line it out really nice and good right now so that, I don't know, a little extra work at the beginning goes a long way at the end. All of our layers are down. This has been rolled and graded it is pretty dang smooth and the final step is the asphalt when we're done building the road so typically you have to have the asphalt on but because our trucks are going to be coming through here they're going to smash it down so much this loose gravel actually counts as my track field for my storm water uh, mitigation as well so we're going to leave it like this until the house is done being built if you like today's video give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel subscribe and if you are not following along with this home build subscribe so you don't miss a thing bye guys we needed um as plain and simple as that sounds her that thing is so cool looking and it just cruises up this i just slid down that entire hill with the rain and i'm probably at a dead stop now oh, um, I may have gotten stuck down on the lower part because it's slicker than snot. Had to come out a totally different way I didn't want to. It was a little sketchy. Frank is very, very muddy. The rain has taken a lot off of him, but he is covered in so much mud right now. It's everywhere. Good boy, Frank 3.0. And our little bit. We're just kind of getting a approach. We're just getting a bit, I'm sorry. You guys, all of our, is the asphalt when we're done building for my storm. So 